Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you've had a wonderful week so far. I wanna welcome you back to the channel and welcome you to today's money saving video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about money saving life hacks. I've got some different little tips, tricks, and ideas for you guys for ways that you can save more money. I know we love talking about saving money on this channel and I think you're really gonna like these ideas, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we talk about the life hacks, I just wanted to share a little real life moment with you guys. Sometimes my patience is tested as well and sometimes things do not go according to plan especially in the YouTube world. This is the second time that I've tried to sit down and film this video. The first time the baby next door was crying so loud that you could hear it in the video and it was so windy outside that you could hear my windows rattling so I was like you know what today is not the day it's not a good day for filming. So here I am today sitting down to refilm this video and as soon as I sit down the baby next next door starts crying again. Oh man. But it seems like she may have stopped, so I'm hoping I have enough time to get through this video before she starts crying again. <laughs> oh, and one other quick thing, I apologize for this intro being way too long, but I just wanted to tell you guys that we did get our new couch. I'm sitting beside it right now, and I am just in love. It's so comfortable, it's so great for Netflix movie marathons. And if you remember, I did film a video in January all about my 2023 financial goals, where I talked about one of our goals was to purchase a new couch and we did do a no spend challenge in January which really allowed us to be able to purchase this couch we had some savings from before we were working on saving up for a couch for a while but that money saving challenge really pushed us over the edge so never underestimate the power of a no spend challenge I just wanted to mention that in this video because I know you guys are keeping up with some of my goals and you like seeing what progress I'm making so yeah we were finally able to purchase this new couch all right the first money saving life hack that I want to share with you is to regrow your green onions and lettuce. So once you're finished cutting your lettuce or your green onions and you cut them down to the stem, put the stem in a jar with water and then lay it on your windowsill in the sunlight. Watch the vegetables regrow and then you can use them again for sandwiches, maybe a garnish on a dish. Of course you're not going to get like a beautiful big full head of lettuce when you regrow it, but you will get just enough, like I said, a few leaves for a sandwich or a garnish on a stir fry or something like that. I love doing this whenever I need just a little bit of green onion for something. Rather than going out to the store, I can just go to my windowsill and find the green onions that I've regrown. And it's really helped me save some money over the years. This might be something that some of you already do, but I had to mention it in this video just in case some of you have never thought about it before. So whenever you have a bottle or a jar or some kind of tube with product in it, always make sure that you cut that packaging in half and then scoop out the remaining product. I always make sure I cut into the packaging of whatever product it is I'm using and scrape out everything that I can to get my money's worth. There's certain packaging that's really hard to get into and sometimes I think companies do this on purpose so that you're not able to get the last bit of the product out and you have to go buy more. But trust me, I will always find a way to get that packaging open and get the rest of the product. This next life hack actually comes from one of you guys, one of my subscribers left this comment on a video and I thought it was such a good idea. So if you're a tea drinker, make sure to bring some tea bags with you either in your purse or in your backpack. And then when you're out, you can order a cup of hot water, which is typically free. And then you can use your own tea bags to make yourself a cup of tea on the go. So this is gonna save you three to $4 if you're out and you want a cup of tea, but you don't wanna pay for it. You already have some tea bags in your bag and you can just save the money. There are so many recipes that call for vegetable broth as an ingredient. And rather than going out and buying vegetable broth and spending that money, you can make your own at home. So what I do is when I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking, I'll save all of my vegetable scraps, like the end of carrots or little pieces of onion and tomato. And I'll put all of that in a container in my freezer. Once that container is full, I'll put all of the vegetable scraps in a pot with some water. I'll boil it for a couple hours and then I'll strain it. So what I'm 
left with is perfectly good vegetable broth that I put in a jar and store either in the fridge or in the freezer. I get so much vegetable broth pretty much for free because I'm just using vegetable scraps that I would have thrown away anyway. And it really helps me cut down just a little bit on my grocery budget for the week. Have you ever been sitting in your living room, looking around and thinking about how you can redecorate? What different colors you can bring into the space, maybe a new furniture piece to go here or there. That was me a couple of weeks ago. Now that we have the new couch, I was thinking about how else we can refresh the space and bring some newness into our apartment. But that being said, I didn't want to spend a lot of money because we did spend money on the couch. So I was thinking, okay, how can I bring in some new colors, some new things on a budget? So one of the things I did was I went to Home Depot and I got a paint sample. So if you didn't know, you can go to Home Depot and pick out a color and they will give you a sample of it for $6, I think it was. It's a really good sized jar of paint, enough for you to do a small decor project like I did. So we have this mirror that's set up here in my kitchen area. It's a pretty big like floor length mirror and it's light gray, which matched our decor before, but now I'm trying to bring in some more earthy tones to our apartment. So I really wanted to paint it a dark gray green color. So I went to Home Depot and I paid $6 for a sample pot of paint and I was able to paint that entire mirror for $6. Rather than going out and buying a completely new decor piece, it really changed up the space and I didn't have to spend a lot of money to do it. Another money saving life hack that I want to share is actually one that I talked about in one of my previous videos, but I wanted to just mention it again because I think it's a really good idea, especially for right now. So if you've noticed the price of eggs and butter and just food in general is very outrageous lately. And that's why I have been using vegan recipes for my baking so that I can avoid eggs and butter. I've been able to save a lot of money by doing my baking without eggs and butter. And most times I can find a recipe that's pretty comparable to what I would normally use. I actually have a couple favorites linked down below in the description box if you love baking like me, but you don't wanna spend the extra money. I usually try and keep my life pretty simple in all areas and that includes Includes my cleaning routine. So I typically don't buy a lot of household cleaners. I buy like an all-purpose cleaner and then maybe a package of wipes. But one thing I always buy is dishwasher tabs. So over time, this can add up because depending on if I can get them on sale or not, it's still an extra expense that I'm adding into my grocery budget. So the other day I was on Pinterest and I found a recipe for homemade dishwasher tabs. And all of the comments on the recipe were how great they were and how much money they were able to save by making their own homemade dishwasher tabs. You guys know I always talk about making your own cleaning products as a way to save money, but I never thought about making my own dishwasher detergent. So that's something I'm definitely gonna try out. I guess because I'm so frugal and I love saving money so much, I will never pay for something outright at full price. I'll always find a way to help myself pay for it. So maybe that's a sale or a coupon, or I'll sell something that I already have to earn money to put towards something that I want. So for example, I talked about wanting to refresh our space and I gave that mirror that we had a new coat of paint. So another thing that I wanted to do was change out the chairs in our dining room. We originally purchased them from Facebook Marketplace. They were secondhand Ikea chairs and I was just tired of them. I wanted a new look. So what I did was I bought a new set of chairs on Facebook Marketplace again. So I guess they're not really new, but new to me. And then I sold our old chairs for the exact same amount of money that I paid for the new chairs. So really all I did was trade our chairs and I didn't have to pay any money for them. Whenever I'm in the kitchen cooking and I have some leftover produce or food, but I don't wanna use it for veggie broth, what I'll do is I'll put it in a jar and then I'll freeze it for later to use in a soup or a chili. Usually we like to have chili at least once during the week. And when I'm making that chili, I'll take out that jar from the freezer and see what kind of extras I have that I can add to the chili. So it's a way that I can use use all of the food that we have, nothing goes to waste, and I get basically a free meal out of it because I don't have to go to the grocery store and buy all of the extra stuff to go in the chili. So I'll save things like onions or half a can of black beans, some extra tomatoes that might've been going bad, and it's a great way to use up that extra food and make sure it doesn't go to waste. 
Another money-saving life hack is one to keep in mind when you're shopping for new clothes, and that is to buy clothes that you can wear for multiple different occasions during multiple different seasons. So for example, you might want to buy a tank top that you can wear during the summertime, but then during the winter time, you can put a cardigan over top of it. So you're not just wearing it for half of the year, you can use that clothing piece all year long and get as much use as possible out of it. This also goes for dresses or formal wear. It's good to buy things that you can dress up and dress down so that you can wear it all the time rather than just once a year. You guys know that Aaron and I don't eat a lot of meat as a way to save money, but one of the things that we do eat sometimes is rotisserie chicken from Costco. It's so versatile, it's very cheap, so every now and again we will buy a rotisserie chicken and have that as a really easy dinner. The great thing about this rotisserie chicken is that after we take all of the meat off the bones and we have that as a meal, I'll always boil what's left over in a pot and make chicken stock and then have chicken soup as the next meal. So it's really great because you kind of get two meals in one when you get the Costco rotisserie chicken. So that's just a little life hack that I wanted to add into this video. If you're someone who finds it really hard to stick to a budget, I recommend purchasing a budget binder to help you stay on track. So I'll insert a little clip of my budget binder that I use for sinking funds, but you can absolutely use it for day-to-day -day spending as well. So I've seen people use these budget binders and they'll have categories like gas, um, coffee shops, they'll do groceries, and then they'll put cash in the different categories and they're only allowed to spend the cash that's available in the budget binder. If you do wanna purchase a budget binder for yourself, I'll leave an Amazon link down below in the description box and I really can't recommend them enough. I love my budget binder and I use it pretty much every day. Another money-saving life hack is to use free video streaming services instead of paying for them. Down below in the description box, I'll have some different sites linked that you can check out. You can watch TV for free, which is wonderful. There are so many video streaming services available these days. I think if you were to subscribe to every single one, you would be paying hundreds of dollars a month. There are just so many, and sometimes it's best to just keep it cheap and free. Whew, okay, that was a lot of money-saving life hacks and I got through the whole video without that baby crying. So that is a win. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have any money-saving life hacks. I would love to hear them. Make sure to check out the links in the description box. I have a whole bunch of stuff for you guys down there, including my Instagram, my Etsy shop, those free video streaming sites like I talked about, the budget binder, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.